Mr. Chua Tae Kim, uh, Deputy CEO I Singapore, distinguished speakers, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm Fumitaka Machida, Chief Representative of the JBIC Singapore Office, Regional Headquarters for the Asian and Pacific. Uh, it's my great honor to make a presentation about the uh, strategy for reverse of Japan, including the, the uh, Japan's uh, future initiative today. So, uh, actually, so I was seconded to the National Policy Unit Cabinet Secretariat of the Government of Japan for two and a half years. I served for the three prime minister and the five minister for the national policy. So, where I was uh, in charge of the Japan's foreign economic, foreign economic policy in National Policy Unit, and uh, I also in, uh, involved in the launch of the new growth strategy dated on the 18th of the, uh, June 2010, uh, uh, including the deployment of the infrastructure systems and free trade agreements, including the TPP, and uh, the reducing the corporate tax uh, rate in order to invite the foreign direct investment into, J into Japan, uh, as well as the Future City Initiative. And also, uh, after the March 11, i.e. the uh, Great uh, East Japan earthquake, so uh, I was also involved in the uh, launch of the strategy for rebirth of Japan, uh, dated the 24th December uh, last year, uh, including the several policy measures uh, for the revival from the uh, disaster by the tsunami and earthquake, as well as the uh, nuclear power accident in Fukushima, uh, in terms of the reconstruction of Tofu region in cooperation with the foreign government. So, uh, based upon the, uh, my experience, accordingly, uh, uh, today, the main, mainly from the policymakers' perspective, so uh, I'd like to uh, touch upon the outline of the new growth strategy by Japanese government and also the strategy for the reverse of Japan, uh, both which are the basic platform for the future city initiative. And then, so I'd like to explain the, in detail about the future city initiative itself. Uh, and finally, I'd like to point out some challenges uh, by Japan uh, in this field from the banker's perspective. So uh, now, uh, I'd like to emphasize two points on this slide. The first, so the new growth strategy itself is to aim at responding to the Japan's existing uh, crisis. That is, Japan has been uh, suffering from the long-term uh, sluggish economy and uh, decreasing the growth potential, as well as the further deteriorated the fiscal balance. And uh, with its population decreasing and uh, super-aging, current socioeconomic system in Japan uh, is not to provide the appropriate solution uh, in the era of the pollution onus in which the population factor will have uh, a kind of the negative impact on the economic growth of Japan. And secondly, on the top of the affirmation, the, uh, the existing crisis uh, that has already emerged even before the crisis and the uh, earthquake, the earthquake brought about the enormous damages, like a nuclear power accident and the limited electric supply, as, as well as the rapid Japanese yen appreciation, which currently shocked the Japanese economy. So therefore, the strategy for the reverse of Japan itself is to tackle these kind of the new issues, that is a crisis in the midst of the crisis, so, such as the, these destabilizing factor uh, added after the March 11. So now I'd like to briefly explain the outline of the new growth strategy. So this slide to uh, show the overall picture of the new growth strategy. What I want to uh, emphasize here is that the strategy clarified the seven strategic area, the green innovation, life innovation, Asia, tourism and the local revitalization, science, technology, and IT, and uh, employment and human resources, uh, and the finance. And then the, uh, the green one and the yellow one, the uh, green innovation and the life innovation uh, will be the regarded as the uh, growth area driven by the Japan's existing and uh, potential strengths. 
and uh, regarding the Asia and uh, uh, tourism and uh, local revitalization will be the growth area driven by the pioneering the new frontiers. And then the rest of the three will be the platform to support the such uh, formation the four growth area. So uh, new growth strategy identified the 21 uh, national strategic, uh, national strategic uh, project in seven areas that contribute especially significantly to economic growth and could not be achieved uh, so far due to the uh, vertical integrated Japanese bureaucratic system. And they try to advance these seven areas utilizing these 21 projects as a breakthrough in each field. So now I'd like to just point out that so the number of the project, i.e. the 21, originate from the Democratic Party of Japan, DPJ, uh, government's strong conviction to leave behind the 20th century growth model and realize the 21st century growth model. So what is the 21st century growth model? So the first, so it sees the environment and the super aging issue not as a gross restrictions, but as a gross uh, opportunities. And second, it translates the dichotomy between the large government and small government by instead promoting the cooperation among the broad range of stakeholders. And third, so it aims to open up Japan by striving for coexisting with the emerging market while contributing to their sustainable growth uh, as uh, problem-solving countries. So on this basis, the Future City Initiative is categorized into the, uh, one of the important projects under the Green Innovation Area as a policy measures to initiate the 21st century's uh, growth model in Japan. So this slide indicates the growth path of the Japanese uh, economy that the DPJ government envisaged at the time. So it's not a um, table mountain. So in new growth strategy, so they just divided the just 10 years to the 2020 uh, into the two period, uh, that is the phase one and phase two, uh, with the end of the deflation uh, as the dividing point. So uh, in this regard, so uh, I'd like to mention about the uh, DPG government's basic policy towards overcoming the deflation. So uh, it seems to me that the, the government of Japan so far um, has the basic understanding that the Japanese economy is just in a uh, situation of the liquidity trap where the cash injection into the banking sector uh, by the central bank uh, would just fail to uh, lower interest rates and uh, hence to fail to the stimulate economic growth. So, and uh, in addition, so I'd like to mention that th so uh, DPG government uh, just identified the four main reasons for the, uh, uh, the deflation. The one is the globalization. The second is the future anxiety. So the three is the unemployment and the mismatch in the labor market. And uh, fourth is the decreasing population, uh, in, especially in the labor uh, market. Uh, and then uh, they just therefore they think about the respective measures to the respective uh, factors. And for example, the one as for the globalization, so they found that they have to promote the shift of the uh, industry uh, by utilizing TPP. And uh, with respect to the future anxiety, it must be cured by uh, securing the social welfare system uh, by increasing the uh, consumption tax. So, and regarding the labor market, so they are going to develop the uh, external labor market. And regarding the uh, uh, working population level. So in order to keep the uh, population as much as possible, or several policy measures to create 
the uh, circumstances where the women and the senior people uh, could continue their jobs that will be taken, uh, as will be the, also the stimulate the domestic consumption in the end. And now uh, I'd like to just point out the, uh, the some argument uh, in Japan about the, uh, which economic policy would be taken for the Japanese economy, uh, i.e. the neoliberalization or Keynesian. So DPJ government is still in a position that so the less fair economic policy under, L under the LDP government, i.e. especially the Koizumi administration, such as uh, restructuring measures favoring supply-side efficiency, even under the situation of the depopulation and deflation, uh, brought about the employment problems and the sluggish domestic consumption, as well as the uh, further deflation. Accordingly, the DPG government uh, have taken the policy to activate the uh, latent or uh, potential uh, demand in new fields such as the uh, environment and the uh, health sector, uh, while uh, leveraging the Japan's strength. Uh, and uh, I personally think that the, this approach would be, to some extent, uh, reasonable, at least uh, while we have the GDP gap then and there. So uh, next I'd like to mention about the strategy for rebirth of Japan. So uh, as I mentioned, the new growth strategy itself is aimed at uh, responding to Japan's existing crisis uh, like aging society and the de uh, declining the birth rate and the fiscal deficit and long-term economic stagnation, deflation uh, since the bubble burst. So as Japan is now uh, facing the additional challenges uh, of the recovery and reconstruction from the earthquake and the control of the nuclear uh, incident. So uh, I'd like to know that the search for rebirth of Japan is to target at not only for the existing uh, crisis, uh, but also the crisis in the middle of the crisis. So as a result, strategy for rebirth of Japan also includes the swift implementation of the new growth strategy itself, and simultaneously, uh, policy measures on the new growth strategy would be aggressively applied even to the disaster area, like the Tofuk region, uh, from the viewpoint of recovery and rebirth. So, and then, so based upon that, so I'd like to introduce the Japan Future Initiative. So, uh, first, I'd like to explain the background of the initiative. Uh, as the slide shows, Urban population has increased sharply and now comprise half of the world total population. This is projected to grow around 6.4 billion, i.e. the 70% of the world total population by 2050. So this rapid urbanization is seen prominently even in the emerging market and it has caused various environmental and urban problems. The 21st century is referred to as the age of the cities. So in this age, so the challenge of the realizing the affluent life without the increasing the uh, burden on the urban environment is a challenge common to all human beings. So Japan is known as an advanced country in terms of the challenges of both decreasing birth rate and rapid aging. So it is projected that the, uh, in 2020, uh, 2050, so senior over age 65 will comprise uh, more than 40% of the population. I think that's uh, realizing the city and the region where the senior can uh, live a fruitful and healthy and secure life in the vital city is uh, actual challenges, not future challenges. Uh, as many uh, countries uh, uh, such as Asia uh, also expected to experience the GIST challenges in the near future. Uh, we think Japan is in a position to first tackle uh, this problem and offer some solution to uh, common human challenges. So then the government of Japan identified the Future City Initiative uh, as one of the national strategic projects 
And the objective of the initiative is to challenge the uh, common human problems and to try to propose a, a modern solution, the model of solutions uh, as a front runner in this field. So in other words, this is a big opportunity for Japan as well. So uh, next I'd like to mention about the purpose of the Future City Initiative. The purpose of the initiative is to select a few cities as future city to realize the world's leading success case uh, in terms of technology, uh, socioeconomic system, and uh, or services, business model, and city building uh, in order to resolve the common issue in 21st century. The selected city is expected to lead to the innovation in socioeconomic systems that can create the successful cases. And the Japanese government will support the selected city by concentrating on budget and uh, uh, affecting the deregulation and reforming the legal and tax system as a bottom up and selective approaches. Now, so uh, I'd like to emphasize that to realize uh, this initiative, it is quite important to uh, adapt an uh, open resource uh, innovation strategy, uh, which is open both at home and uh, abroad. So uh, this is also enhanced under the concept of the reconstruction of Tohoku region opening to the world. So it is important to gather the worldwide wisdom and the experience and the effort by absorbing their uh, other cities' success, successful case uh, all over the world. So the basic concept of the uh, Future City Initiative is to realize a human-centered cities while the creating the new value to resolve the challenges of the environment and the super aging, basically. In order to realize the uh, sustainable growth, so considering the value of environment uh, as well as the society and the economy is the essential. So in this relation, the selected challenge uh, selected cities uh, to set the strategic future vision uh, in ways that will maximize the total of the environment, social, and the economic value. Moreover, uh, it's important to uh, set the vision in a way to maximize the uh, res respective cities' attractions, uh, showing that their uh, variety and uh, originality uh, as well as their unique, the social and uh, or, or natural resources. So on this slide, so I'd like to just point out the three point, important point to make the, this initiative a success. The one is just, uh, steady project management, and two is the establishment of the uh, powerful and speedy uh, executive institution, and the third would be the uh, strengthening the uh, cooperation between cities. So, oh, and the Japanese government has already selected the 11 future cities uh, December last year. The five cities from the uh, non-disaster area and the six cities from the disaster area. And then uh, their original, uh, original plan has already been brushed up and authorized by the expert team in the regional revitalization office of the uh, cabinet secretariat. And the uh, implementation of the, their model project has uh, already started. And today, I'd like, I do not have any, enough time to explain in detail the, uh, the projects. Uh, but so I'd like to mention uh, that, the, for example, Higashima Tsushima City is to facilitate its project in cooperation with the Denmark government. And uh, it is uh, quite remarkable that the both selected future city, i.e. the uh, uh, Kitakyushu city and the uh, Kamaishi city, uh, promoting the intercity cooperation then and there. And uh, also the Yokohama city is to contribute to the reconstruction of the disaster affected area like uh, Aizu Wakamatsu in Fukushima and uh, Yamamoto Cho, Minami San Lake Cho in Miyagi Prefecture. So, uh, what will be the uh, challenges for Japan? So, as you see in Japan, 
So there are many cities which uh, have had the great effort in environmental issues and reached the green innovation before. It, however, uh, seems to me that so how to achieve the life or uh, medical innovation simultaneously will be the difficult task in many cities on the outcome basis. So in, that, in addition to that, so from the viewpoint of the input basis, so uh, I'd like to uh, uh, point out the following the major challenges. The one is how to establish the business model uh, in which uh, we have to find out the risk sharing model and profit model and uh, appropriate consortium. And the two, the, what would be the appropriate PPP model? So PPP is, of course, the public-private partnership. It should not be the PPP planning pending with patient. So in this regard, so we have to identify the role of the central government as well as the local government. And the three, and how to harmonize the initiative, initiative with a top-down approach like a feeding tariff system or deal regulation in utilities and the social welfare systems in Japan. And four, and how we can promote the intercity cooperation. And five, the how we can involve the community. So with the city across the world facing common problems of a growing population, aging society, and limited resources, can Japan become a pioneer in developing the new and uh, more sustainable way for the 21st century? Uh, yes, I think so. Or as Japan did get over uh, before in terms of the pollutions and uh, as well as the oil shocks uh, in its history. On the other hand, I s also think that it is impossible to read this field through Japan's effort only. So uh, it is quite important to adapt an open resource innovation strategy in this field and uh, uh, we have to gather the worldwide uh, wisdom and effort. Uh, in this context, uh, I think this World City Summit itself will be a very great platform for us. Thank you for your uh, attention.